Well, they let fucking Gerald Ford claim Michigan, even though he has no right to. So. Yeah, they named an the airport after him. <laughs> There's an airport. Where? Yeah, in Grand Rapids. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All his stuff is in Grand Rapids. Huh. Well, his yeah, museum. That's, yeah. I went to his museum on my birthday two years ago. How was that? <laughs> Gerald was Ford great. Museum. I had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. So cringe, though. That's like the Michigan president wasn't born here, and he was the only guy to not be fucking elected. Like, he yeah. just became president. Yeah. Why is he the Michigan guy, then? Because he, like, he lived, lived here, here most of his life. and that's I think he, he was governor here. Yeah, that's where he, like, I don't think he was governor. He may have been a senator, but... Um, did he go to U of M? He blew he a did, guy yeah. here or something? He, but he was born in, there like... There was a gay sex scandal <laughs> in he was Muskegon. Born, <laughs> yeah. He was born in, like, Iowa or Nebraska, and then he moved yeah. here. When? Um, when he was, like, a young adult? Yeah, you know, he was, like, kid, kid, but oh, still. Okay. My professor in... OCC. Well, yeah. then that's more allowed than someone being born here and then spending the first three years of their life here and then trying to yeah. claim it after moving. My professor from OCC, we got to Gerald Ford in U.S. history. He's like, yeah, this the, you guys know where this guy's from? And I shouted out, Nebraska, not Michigan. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, was good. that? No you know you can leave your water bottle on the table. Well, I didn't want it to be in the shot. Just not in front of the camera. Let's put it right there. No, don't worry. What's up, Stanley? They call, him, they, they call me Flat wet, Stanley. They call me Wet Stanley because it's <laughs> Mike a water Epps. Bottle. He he just opened a new comedy club downtown mm-hmm. called One Mike's, uh, and I saw somebody online ask, "What connection does Mike Epps have to Detroit?" And then someone said, "I saw him perform at the Fox Theater a few years ago." And so <laughs> <laughs> that's a great connection. that's a connection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah I don't know why he decided to do that, but shout out to you. Mike Epps. Is he not from here? No, he's know. not. I don't even know who he is. He's a I, black comedian. No, Where's he from? I have guy. no idea. So might not we Michigan. call him Mike of Detroit? No, there is a guy called Mike from Detroit. Oh. Um, well, then never mind. We won't, he's like a. We won't give him. He's the a title. Middle Eastern guy. He was oh, mean to me. So one he's time. like a so Lawrence of Arabia. Want, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, we're talking Lawrence of. We're talking uh, fucking Mike Middle of East Detroit. May. <laughs> No, I mean, he's probably a nice guy, but he was rude to me the one time I met him, so I, I don't know. He gave a bad first impression. Yeah. There's he's a, probably nice. I know a lot of people like him and have done shows with him, but... There's a bug on the table. Is there? Yeah, it just flew away. Where? Well, it already I'm, flew away. <laughs> please to be It was teeny here. tiny. Oh. It looked like your wee-wee. For uh, Middle Eastern May and Lawrence yeah. of Arabia. The Black one. Rapper Gunner is here. Yeah, the Black one Rapper guy who's <laughs> seen this movie. I saw the first hour of the movie. Uh, <laughs> resident history. Former guy. member of the Arabic club in high school. Yeah, uh, unofficial uh, Arabic club member. Did you ever attend a meeting? No. no. Did you ever jack off to Mia Khalifa? Yeah, I guess then that's, that's yes, pretty I'm part, I'm part of the our high school Arabic club. There you yeah. go. Yeah. That's, that was the only prerequisite. <laughs> she was a fan favorite there. I do know. She was, yeah. yeah she was the, got tw- some the Twitter for Abby for a yeah. minute, wasn't yeah. she? I got in a lot of trouble for a lot of things for that club. <laughs> <laughs> that club did more bad than it did good. Yeah. But everyone got cool sweatshirts out of Dude, it. Dude, the so. sweatshirts were the coolest. Yeah. I want, you, well, you, you could, actually you have one? Yes, I do. I just okay, keep well, forgetting to grab it. Yeah, do you still have the artwork? Uh, yeah. I just make more. That's true. Yeah. That would probably be an expensive one to print, though, because it had all of the flags on the back in yeah, color. Yeah, but it, they're only black, red, and green. That's true. Yeah. The Middle East, they didn't have too many colors. Like, it has the same amount of colors as your switch. Well, I guess it's missing black, but... Yeah. Yeah. We could always just put uh, transfers on it. Whatever. Should, should know what those No colors, office talk. What those colors mean, because that would be useful information for this episode. Well, that's like every flag. Like, France, Italy... Like Norway, the colors mean something. I don't know, but yeah. they all like well, use the, the Dutch same Dutch flag colors. isn't orange, and that always pissed me off. Why would it be orange? Because the whole thing is it. orange. It has orange on it, which is good enough. No, it doesn't. The Dutch flag is fuck. You're right. Is blue, white, and red, and it's just you're like right. three stripes, that is, and yeah. it, there's no orange on it anywhere, and that's so annoying. Is it supposed to be orange? Yeah. Well, their whole thing is orange. That's what like does their that whole... mean? It's the I don't fucking know. Joseph, know. ask this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's like the royal family's. Yeah, color. the House of Orange or Oran. House of it's Orange. O R A N J. It's spelled in the Dutch way, but it's yeah. like the noble house. And then they had it was like their own little mini civil war power struggle thing between like the parliament and the nobles. But the nobles 
they kind of did what Britain did and got the memo that like, hey, we should kind of just be figureheads and let everybody else do the thing. But they yeah. still really love their monarchy there. Oh, okay. It's the House Orange. The national anthem is literally the blood of the orange. Is what orange it's is the new black, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, Do they have black people in the Netherlands? I believe they have a lot of Moroccan people there, but okay. not, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure what's his some. name? Uh, uh, Othello. Othello <laughs> of Netherlands. Wasn't he? What, didn't that take place? No, that was he a was menace. a Moor. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. He was a mool. <laughs> so this Lawrence of Arabia movie, based on a true story mm-hmm. about a guy named T. E. Lawrence. So they should have called it T. E. of Arabia. T. E. of Arabia. Yeah, T. E. <laughs> Something Elliot. I know the E is Elliot, but... And this dummy smoked himself in a motorcycle accident yeah. in, like, the first five minutes of the movie. I was pretty chill because the, I thought I had watched the wrong movie because it the credits started, and then he died, and then I was like, well, I must be watching the movie backwards. <laughs> yeah, no, he died. Just, he was speaking yeah. garbled English, back, played backwards. Very strange. Yeah, right. But, yeah, so he was... Uh, Should have wore, was he wearing a helmet? You think they even had the idea of wearing a helmet at the, like whenever he died, like the twenties or thirties? It was 30s? like nineteen thirty-five. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, like, honey, I don't know, where maybe. is my black man skull? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where is my thick leather cap? <laughs> yeah, <there's> that'll <laughs> do it. <laughs> they play football in these bad boys. It'll keep me alive on my cycle. Yeah, I love when he dies. His goggles are just dangling off a tree branch, <laughs> as if like <laughs> they were peeled off his head as he was like flying. And off meticulously placed. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a Mardi Gras bra. You know, the ladies yeah, take right. their bras off and mm-hmm. throw them and they dangle. Yeah. He was like, woo, and he threw his goggles off and then died in a car accident. Yeah. He peeled off his goggles. As, you know, maybe it was like he was trying to be cool. Odds he was drunk. He stripped <laughs> off he his goggles. Himself. Yeah, so he was born uh, 1880-ish, 80s, nice. maybe later, uh, in Wales. To uh, His dad was an Irish nobleman. And his dad actually was married first. And he, you know, you could just like, you didn't even have to get divorced back then. You could just move 10 towns just over did. and be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So his dad did There's that. There's no child support back then. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. <laughs> MF was, was in... fucked if there was child support yeah. back then. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of Nick Cannon types back in those <laughs> yeah. days. Um, so, yeah, he was brought up pretty wealthy, went to school, and uh, actually. They went to Oxford? I th- prop one of them. I think he said, because that was the thing in the movie was like, he was one of the fancy military. They're like, oh, this one, he he was educated. <laughs> yeah, I thought they all were back then. Every like officer in the British Army was like some, yeah, closeted Fauntleroy. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they don't, they didn't actually do any of the actual fighting. They just got the got the awards. Yeah, they'd all Fonda go to Leroy. Sounds like a baseball player from like the eighteen eighties. <laughs> Fauntleroy First... means like fancy lad. It... But yeah, it was two words. Font Leroy was and a was stud the last pitcher name for like the... the Nebraska Blackheads in the eighteen seventies. <laughs> it was the last name of the director of that Steven Seagal movie we watched. What? Leroy, Font Leroy. Oh. Really? Yeah, because it means uh like child king in french like if they're like a pampered little rich kid that's what you say a font leroy and it, in french it directly that'd be a, a good king. word that's like a good fancy word for pimp he's a font leroy <laughs> that's probably why he's directing steven's golf movies because he, yeah. he has no other career path <laughs> someone buy the script for a good pimp yeah <laughs> please please someone will auction it so have you guys heard to this will seagal album yeah. No. I, I only heard it that. after we stopped talking about Steven Seagal. I heard about it today. On? I'm like, these guys would love it. Yeah. What he is did it? an album. Yeah, like like a Jamaican what? album. Like a Jamaican. Like, oh, like a Chet Hanks style album. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, a bunga, bunga, bunga. That's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, he was born then. Steven he... of Jamaica. Steven of... No, he's Steven of Russia at this point. Literally, yes. He's Steven of Japan, Steven of California, <laughs> Steven of Russia. This guy has been all over. Dude, yeah. he was. He's the dying breed of quirked up, globetrotting white boy going around That's fucking true. shit up. Yeah. Yeah. Steven of the globe. Mm-hmm. But, uh, Steven Merchant. <laughs> T.E. Seagal. Steve Zizu. Steve Zizu. Yeah. He studied... Uh, medieval history in college and was particularly into like crusader castles and like castle architecture nice so in like the early 1900s he went to syria and like modern day lebanon the levant to do like archaeology shit and that's where he like learned arabic and got 
really into the culture and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he was doing that. And then he was at the outset of World War I. He worked for the British Army in like the cartography department, I guess. So he was just going around the Middle East mapping shit. That's map making is so fucking cool. Yeah. But there were some real retards out there who made some maps that were like, whoa, brother, you were way off. We will get, yeah, there's some. How do they make maps? Did they just like walk around like the it's edge of the earth and just like draw it. what they're walking? Yeah, they had some surprisingly accurate medieval maps. I have no idea how <laughs> they, they just put a giant piece shit. of paper over the country. Dude, and they Lewis and it. Fart made some crazy good maps. Yeah, I Lewis don't know what the, the, because they had like weird shit, you know, they'd probably set it up on a tripod, some device that i don't know what it does and yeah and it was probably called like the schloob blinger or something yeah <laughs> a sextant is a old uh naval navigation tool and it looks like one of those things so yes they did have weird names yeah so. this podcast should just turn into gunner explaining stuff from history and then us just being retarded <laughs> yeah that honestly yeah that's a really good bet that is kind of like an mssp model they'll have like a yeah. guest on who like knows shit and yeah. they'll just like listen to him and ask questions and be enamored but. yeah <laughs> they had RFK Jr. was talking about having a brain worm, and Jake was like, he said something about having a bookworm in his head or something like the that. The last like twenty minutes were about Israel Palestine. Yeah, He's, he had some fair takes. Uh, he knew his shit. But so T. E. Lawrence was over in in is what is now modern day Israel, right? Yeah, he was chilling. Yeah, where is Arabia? The, the Arabian Peninsula. <laughs> so like. Basically, most of his shit. Such an most of the movie. Most where of is the movie, it? Do you not know? Where it? is it? The Arabian Peninsula. Do you know where it is? Yeah, it's like that little thing that comes down the off peninsula. of. Peninsula. Yes, the <laughs> peninsula. It's surrounded by three sides of, with, with water. And do you know what country it's in, bro? What? <laughs> it's like multiple countries on one peninsula. Yeah. Wait, I can't tell if you're... Wait, I know <laughs> this. You're fucking with me. Yeah, he's fucking. There's no way. <laughs> no, I don't know where Arabia is. Well, because it's not a country. It's like a region. It's There's the Arabian Peninsula. Okay. And so most of the movie... T- <laughs> Arabia <laughs> might be pretty close to that country called Saudi Arabia. That's like saying, I don't know where the South is. Like the American South. And then being like, well, what state is the South in? I know where the Middle East is. It's in the middle of the east. <laughs> you know that this might shock you. Arabia's in the Middle East. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. Yeah, the Near I knew east. that. I don't know. I feel like I wait. Think... What? Uh, let me see if I can name the countries on the Arabian Peninsula. All right, Qatar, mm-hmm. Saudi Arabia, mm-hmm. Kuwait. Eh, kind of. Yeah, I'll, it's a Gulf state. I'll give it that to you. Yeah. Um. Oh, maybe I was just thinking of Gulf states then. Israel. No. No, that's not on the Arabian mm-hmm. Peninsula. I think you mean Palestine. <laughs> I think I mean the Holy Land, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. The Kingdom of Jerusalem. Take it yeah, back. The Kingdom of Jerusalem. Let's take it back. Uh, what am I missing? So you, what did you have? Qatar. Qatar, Saudi Kuwait, Arabia. Saudi Kuwait. Arabia. So you're missing Dubai. Dubai yeah, but Dubai, Dubai wasn't Dubai invented. City. Sorry, United Arab Emirates. UAE, that's the one UAE, I'm missing. UAE, Qatar. Is there another little Saudi thing? Arabia? Kuwait. There's, I don't know if there's in another Kuwait, little no, there's one I'm missing four. over there. Because there's Saudi Arabia is the big one, and then there's the two little ones at the bottom. No, they're to the east of Saudi Arabia. The two little ones at the bottom. So yeah, so Saudi Arabia, Qatar, UAE, Kuwait, I guess probably. Um, Bahrain, Bahrain, that's one of them. Fuck. That's yeah. One of the How'd you miss Bahrain? No, oh, God, you my bad, Joseph. <laughs> is that where the World Cup was? No, the World Cup was in Qatar. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, Bahrain, UAE, Qatar. The only no, thing I know Kuwait. about Qatar is that they have the airlines and they sponsor Barcelona. And I remember one time I was wearing my Barcelona, not Barcelona. What they did? Sponsor okay, yeah, they sponsored Barcelona for a minute. Yeah, I was wearing my Barcelona jersey, and I went to a Seven Eleven, and the guy at the counter was like, "Oh, Qatar Airways," and I was like, "Yeah,", yeah and he's yeah. like, "Yes, very nice," and I was yeah. like, "Dude, this is." This is like I'm not just like wearing a Qatar <laughs> Airways shirt. That MF was not from Qatar either. No, no. Way. no. I think so, he was just a big fan of the Airways. Yeah, I think eighty <laughs> percent of like oh you Delta. Oh, you had to fly Delta. I think like eighty. Like no, I'm a Spirit guy. <laughs> no, fuck Spirit. Spirit He's fucking American. sucks. What's well, you? I mean, Delta's the shit, obviously, right? Yeah, Delta's yeah. the premier. And then what do you? What would you if you can't fly Delta? What's your American next best Airlines. option? American Airlines. 
Yeah, I'll go with the same. Or United is is up there too. Sure. Um, the worst two are definitely Spirit, Spirit and Southwest. Southwest. Well, some people forget about uh, the Alaska one, Frontier. Frontier. I've never that one's. Frontier. It's cheap as hell, but it is ghetto. It's Your the trace. Greyhound of airplanes. Yes. Yeah. It's for literal criminals. The tray table's <laughs> this big. I feel like Spirit is the Greyhound of airways. No, it's because Spirit flights are more than Frontier flights. Frontier flights are dirt cheap. It's the least comfortable plane I've ever been on in my life is a Frontier. Really? Air, well, that's air, not the aircraft. airline's fault. That's They're just the ones that... That's a plane manufacturer. Yeah, that's Boeing's fault. Speaking of Boeing, yeah, they're in some hot water. They are. They did their something. Planes are bad or something. Yeah. What's up with this? You I know d- more than I do. The planes are shitty because they suck. And I'm just from air. I'm friends with a let's say aerospace engineer, and that boy will go to the ends of the earth to defend Boeing. Really? But yeah, no, it's the planes are shitty. What yeah. was T. E. Lawrence? They haven't like updated their models and like fucking. I don't Since know how T. long. Lawrence died. Well, it's yeah. even the new ones are fucking up. Are they even like continuing to make airplanes? Yeah, the 737 Max is the one that came out recently. <laughs> we need the Wright the brothers back. Issues. Yeah, that's the problem. Someone get Orville on the phone. Someone get Orville. I have a complaint. Orville and Redenbacher on the phone. <laughs> Redenbacher. <laughs> what was the other one? Wilbur. Wilbur. Well, who am I thinking? Who's Redenbacher? Orville He's Redenbacher. The popcorn, the popcorn guy. guy. Okay, well, he someone get popcorn. someone get the Wright brothers and Orville Redenbacher on the phone and tell them we need to figure out. How the fuck do we got to figure out this airplane the situation, airplane situation and we need to figure out how to get popcorn on airplanes that's a, that would be a you can't have microwaves on, on airplane pop, on airplanes okay well then we're nuking it before we take off there's got no there has to be a way to heat things because yeah, they no, give you the kidding. food hot yeah <laughs> um, you've totally had me fooled dickhead just like when you said you didn't know where arabia was i only know where agraba is yeah, got to make it to Agrabah. Yeah. Is that the Aladdin place? That's the Aladdin okay. place. Oh, no, fuck. You got... In the North Korea, they're trying to get to Akrabah. Yeah, that's Akrabah. right. They kept saying that in the movie, and I was yeah. like, ah, oh, that's Just Aladdin like, close place. close up of Peter O'Toole's face, like, Akrabah. <laughs> I need to... Yeah, the, the old-timey, like, British accent, like, in movies is so much better than, like, this current one. Is it, like, transatlantic almost? No, they were just, like... I mean, old timey British actors were just fucking fancy lads. Yeah. So they had like the upper class actors. Oh god! This was like his like, third like film, posh. I think. Yeah, Peter O'Toole's. I, I think his he's first two top gay pornos. Yeah. Top the, first the last two name like O'Toole, you better be slinging some rock yeah. downstairs. He was tall. He was actually dude. Like, tall. You know he, he had six five. Yeah. I think he Peter totally O'Toole. had me. Just the way he talked, it just sounds like he always had a cigarette. <laughs> 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 Like yeah. that's how I imagine if like Clue was real, that's how Colonel Mustard would talk. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, what is a lieutenant? What? What is a lieutenant? It's, it's, it's how a, British people say lieutenant. Yeah. Really? It's literally yeah. just the rank that's of gay. lieutenant, but they call it that different over there because they're a special little island. They, they have a lot of stuff. They all shoot with their left hands. There. Yeah. Like um, being called a pussy over there is a good thing, I guess. I don't know. I think Peter O'Toole's like top oh, right, five of all time. You're a good pussy you're chap. You got the pussy on you. You got quite the pussy on oh, you. You're, you're quite the pussy on you. <laughs> Little uh, T E stands for trans entertainer lawrence and he was the one woman in the army and he would dance his little pussy around for us that is british as fuck they love drag or at least did until they got the memo that it was like we like that was gay yeah that in world war ii they would do like drag shows to entertain each other Um, they bust on their boys kneecaps watch fucking monty do an abraham lincoln and fuck my thighs why don't you te if you ever watch like even monty python from the 70s half of that shit was like haha it's a guy dressed as a lady that's hilarious (laughs) isn't it they don't tell the black community it was so funny what do you think of this conspiracy of older black men that like drag is just a way for like hollywood to undermine black people oh like some like buck breaking shit is that what you're talking about i don't know it's wild like what? the that's what a uh, Cat Williams was talking about. Is that like man? They put you in a dress and they make they demasculate you. Yeah, that's, it, there was like a weird. He's just trying to deflect because he got his ass kicked by a middle schooler. I think that's what it is. There was some weird documentary that came out like two years ago called Buck Breaking, and it was by like a bunch of pseudo intellectuals about Jordan Peterson. How? Yeah, it's like it's and the ho- black the black community. No, no, it was made by like <laughs> hoteps, oh. like black. Uh, like nationalist type guys 
and their whole thing was it's like hotep shit they literally they're like yeah uh being gay is a white people thing and it's a mental deficiency and if you're like a gay black person like you shouldn't be they need to see moonlight they think that like being gay was like invented by white people and like brought to the black community well being gay first of all was invented by white people greeks and romans <laughs> Yeah, Second of all, <laughs> there, I don't think there was a single gay dude in Africa when the Greek and Roman Empire were going on. So I, if you ask me, I think we'll have to check the fossil. Records. White slave owners probably were fucking their slaves, and that's when gay. So black you are on some buck breaking shit. Yes. <laughs> okay. We need Hotep Jordan Peterson. You got a Hotep right here, evidently. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, what's his name? Jesse Jacob. Yes. Yakub is out here slanging dong to all these gay black dudes in their dreams when they're kids, and that's what makes them gay now. Yeah, Yakub, the corrupting force in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, like, if you ever ask a, a gay black man, how, like, he'll say he had dreams of Yakub having sex with him as a child, and that's why they're all gay now. So it's just, it is that's definitely where the gay blacks that. come from. <laughs> All right, well. They're turning the frogs. Yeah, yep. glad we got to the bottom of that one. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the fucking the guy dies. They're all at his funeral, and they're all just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That guy fucking sucked. I hated that guy. <laughs> and then someone was like, oh, he, how could you say that about such a great man? And he was like, oh, I knew him. He was a piece of shit. And <laughs> they were just, you know, having a time of it. Yes. He was the first, uh, what do you call it, cultural appropriator. Actually, you're wrong because he, I learned this today, he showed up to Arabia in like British, like, you know, booty shorts and pith helmet, as you would expect someone from this time. And he hung out with them for so much. Uh, Prince Faisal literally was like, yo, you need to start dressing like us. And uh. so he was not an appropriator. He was given permission and encouraged to by Prince Faisal. I learned that today. So this Prince Faisal guy, that was like his little butt buddy. So so that's like if you have a black girlfriend and she lets you get dreads? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. I do wonder if T.E. Lawrence ever got some like Bedouin put tent pussy. I hope he did. Like some Probably. like some like Tatooine sand person style pussy? Yeah, I, okay. I hope he did. Just just He probably did just to say. It's not hello. They Hello. probably you wouldn't. Hello? I don't know. Yeah. They probably would have let him. They probably like. Here's, I still don't understand. He is our this. finest. Yeah, here's one of my seven wives. You can go to town on her for a night. Yeah, that's in like all the old James Bond movies. Anytime he would like go to the Middle East, they would just be like, "Oh, here's all our best women. They're gonna fight for your affection." And <laughs> they literally like in one of them. I think it was the spy who loved me. Like, there's a scene where it's just two bitches beating the shit out of each other because they want to fuck Bond. <laughs> That's sick. I don't think yeah. there's a single woman on screen this entire movie. I didn't finish it, so I don't know. I don't think there <laughs> it's is. It's like a Master and Commander style situation. It is a Master and Commander style it's situation. It's a DC sniper situation. <laughs> what, did, what, huh? What did he do? <laughs> just a couple of bros, you know? Right over my no. head. I don't know. You don't know about that? Mm -mm. The DC sniper. The thing rings a bell. Was he the guy on the on the bridge? The guy like on the, the bridge? overpass. Was he Mark Wahlberg in that movie Shooter? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was that Mark Wahlberg. Movie. No, it was like this black guy who like took this like teenager under his wing and like he sent him to like assassinate Reagan or something like that. No, I don't. I don't know. Or I'm, Bush, maybe. I'm familiar with like a. There was a guy on an interstate near DC who was like shooting at people in cars off of an overpass, I believe. I think that's another. Maybe another that's the DC same thing. Sniper. Um, could be the same thing. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe it is the same thing. You know who's a cool sniper though? Chris Dorner. He is a, a <laughs> cool can't corner guy. the Dorner. Cool guy with the gun over there. <laughs> was that the American sniper? No, no that's it's, Chris it's, Kyle. Oh, Chris Dorner yeah. was the African American guy who uh, murdered a lot of police officers in a fit of rage. He oh was a yeah, veteran and guy. a cop, and he yeah. went rogue. And like was like she I hate rogue. cops. Yeah, he's like I hate cops now. They're racist. Were we in a Mission Impossible movie? Literally, he's <laughs> we're like, in a Bond hate. movie. Bro. Yeah, we're in a Bond movie. He was a cop and he went full a cab and like they had to do like a manhunt for him. Yeah, which is I crazy. That. But yeah, that was wild. Could you imagine if T. E. Lawrence went full a rab? <laughs> he yeah. did come full a rab. 
But, <laughs> he just straps a bomb to himself. <laughs> yeah. So oh, blows up the pyramids. <laughs> I don't remember if in the movie the main was guy the Empire is... State Building erect at that point in time in when? his life in like 1929. No, I think that was built in like the 20s or 30s. Well, yeah, he was alive for it, but not during World War One. It was not up during World okay, War. Okay, well then he should have done the first 9/11. Came over here and yeah, nine ten the Empire State Building. Yeah, he should have done nine ten because it's only one building, so it would just be the one. Yeah, one he crashes the uh-huh. Zeppelin into it. Yeah, <laughs> he crashes his motorcycle like a right yeah. brother. <laughs> Back then, you can crash anything into. I mean, probably if you hit the ground floor, you might be able to do some damage. Yeah, but yeah, so they tried to do that. The yeah. Nazis tried to no it, the, to the to the nine eleven. They did. they did a prelude to nine eleven. Mm-hmm. Oh. They there was like some some like van that drove in. Yeah, the... they like tried taking bombs like to the first floor to yeah. blow it up. That was yeah, I think it was in the nineties. Yeah, wow. you ever hear that story about like the police and like, no one, like after they, they might try again? No, this wasn't Al Qaeda related. Well, what no. were they gonna do? Put an anti aircraft gun on the twin towers? No, out... <laughs> how would you prevent nine yeah. eleven? Yeah, you're right. No, after shit, the police I like shit, I don't know. After the police apprehended those guys, they were like flying past the World Trade Center. And one of the police was telling a guy, like, look, you, you didn't do it. You know, you guys, you guys fucking failed. And then the guy was staring at him. He was like, we'll get him. And then Shit. he was right. That cop should have told him. Yeah. That's crazy. Alerted the authorities. Yeah. Well, he is the authorities. He should have alerted himself. <laughs> you know who's yeah, the real he authority? Is the authority. He you should've... know who's the real authority in this matter is T. E. Lawrence. He had his his Arab shit on lock. He could have, if he was still alive, he, 9-11 would have never happened. Yeah, I mean, it's probably one of those weird, like, you know, Mandela effects where if something, you move one thing out of the way, or butterfly effects, sorry. Um, Dude, you know T.E. Lawrence would have been vibing during the Soviet-Afghan war. He would have gone to Afghanistan like, all right, I'm here for jihad. Let's get this shit. <laughs> I don't I don't know that, actually. He would have. Yeah, That's where was... Osama bin Laden, like, cut his teeth. Because when they did that, Osama a lot bin Laden of people... cut his teeth? That sounds scary. Yeah. <laughs> A lot during the Soviet Afghan War, a lot of the people who went on to like He's be twisted. terrorists like that from the Middle East, they would like go and fight with the Mujahideen in Africa. I hate that angle so much. Like that, I don't know how to fix it. It's focused on my weenus. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe we move the table back. Maybe we do. Yeah. Either way, T. E. Lawrence. Uh, T. He. He was chilling, and then Michael the Jackson started. Lawrence. And Michael Jackson. And he kind of was, he's gonna T. name his kids T. E. Lawrence T. E. Fishburne. T. E. Lo- there you go, T. E. Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> and his daughters in the porno or something, right? Yeah. I don't know. You told me that. I think so. Did I tell you that? I think you did. Okay. Ah, you told me that years ago. Oh. Me? Yeah. Oh. You think? Well, yeah. I told someone that recently. Well, we both know it then. Yeah. Poor Lawrence Fishburne. Well, he got his bag. Dude, he's yeah. bagged up. Yeah, he's fine. He was on fire for a while. He's got that blackish money. Was he on Blackish? Yeah, he plays oh, yeah, the dad he was. on Blackish. Oh, yeah, he's, like he's the even more bagged up. Yeah. Yeah. And he's he was like Anthony, what's producer. his name's dad, right? Anthony Anderson's dad, yeah. yeah. Another, Have you seen that show? Bits and pieces, man. What? I don't think I'm black Lawrence you Fishburne know is like the person to like be perpetuating like the black old man stereotypes on a show called Blackish. Why he's pretty that? fair-skinned. <laughs> It's just okay. The Family Guy joke where Peter's on the Cosby show. I have to frame it in Family Guy because if I make this joke, it's going to be bad. But Peter's on the Cosby show and they're just eating dinner. He goes, Okay, so if you guys are all related, how come you're all different shades of black? <laughs> That's pretty true on a show like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, because, you know, they're. What about they're Fat Albert? They're representing. All the same. They're all the family. That's members another of the Cosby same joint. Shade Fat Albert. They're not family. They're just homies. They're like friends. They hang out in a junkyard. Bro. And See, one I've of them never has actually a ski mask. There's Fat yeah. Albert and the one with the ski. I've mask. never actually seen Fat Albert. Have you? I've seen the movie and I've seen a the, few like, of the episodes. Awful, of the show. Like two thousand. Keenan Thompson movie. Yeah. Wait, it was a live action joint. Yeah. Yeah, it was a cartoon, and I want to say like the late seventies, early eighties. Yeah. And then they made a live action adaptation of it. I thought that the cartoon came out a lot later than that. No, the, no, cartoon, the cartoon is like really from back old. in the day. Yeah. It's uh, pre Little Bill. It's the proto Little Bill. Flush or Little Bill will cut your dick off. <laughs> yeah. Remember that one. Yeah. Little Bill was busting. I remember liking that Yeah, I liked show. Little Bill. Was that a Cosby joint? That was yes, also a Cosby what? joint. What? Little Bill. Bill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you could ask him about his other Little Bill. Too. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a plenty of little pills, too. <laughs> 
Little Bill. <laughs> that sucks that the kids today are never going to be able to watch Little Bill. Yeah. Why they not? just have to watch Is, can it be Trans on Bluey or, or whatever Trans, they watch. Now. Trans Bluey. Bluey rocks. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, you, I will not be Don't having stop. Bluey be dis- besmirched. Yeah. Trans Miss Rachel. Do you guys watch Miss Rachel? What's that? No. She's like the new YouTuber that all the kids watch. I thought but it was she's Mr. Like, Beast. Mr. Beast. What if they got married? Would it be Mrs. Beast or would it be Mr. Rachel? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mr. Rachel. I mean, it's 2024. Rachel Beast. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel Beast. Rachel hyphen Beast. Yeah. Rachel <laughs> Beast. Rachel <laughs> Beast. <laughs> Hello, children. My Wait, name so is Rachel Beast. What is this? Is this new? Yeah, it's like from a few. I, I, I mean, I, it's still she's still around, but she like makes educational videos for kids on YouTube. Um, but it's like controversial because she has like gay friends or something. Huh? Yeah. As I say, I'm assuming by this educational content, you, like she like makes slime in videos made for. Babies. No, she makes like Sesame Street like type videos. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's for like little little kids. Little little kids. The middle but schoolers probably wouldn't. Well, they wouldn't maybe. Know. Like, I don't know. A green Parents are of a guy getting fisted behind her, or what's going on? <laughs> yeah. I keep thinking like, when's this Miss Rachel gonna turn sexual? And people are saying she has nipple piercings. You could no. see it in an episode. Well, that's hot. Yeah. Is she good looking? And first of all, babies I aren't going to be able to pick up on that. They don't know what They're nipple be like, piercings what's, are. Why does she have metal? Can you breastfeed with nipple piercings? I would assume uh, not. No, it's blocking the ducts. Probably, yeah. Yeah, got to fly south, I guess. <laughs> they got to start making baby bottles and just put nipple piercings through <laughs> it. should. I think I've seen like a joke version of that. Oh, really? They now have these these bras where it looks like you have nipple piercings. Have you seen those? I want to get my nipples pierced. Why? Everybody I know who's ever had a nipple piercing, they fucking hate it and they take them out like less than a year. You'd be like Chris Cuomo. Did he get his nipples pierced? Yeah, he has a nipple piercing. I'm going to get my belly button pierced. I'm going to get a little tassel, a little dangly tassel. You remember the episode of Workaholics where they're at the <laughs> tattoo shop and the, the guy yells at Because they're trying to buy weed at the tattoo shop. And the guy yells at me. He's like, if you're not going to buy anything, get out. So Adam gets a belly button piercing. And then they owe the weed dealer a bunch of money. So she rips it out. <laughs> what do you think uh, Lawrence from Arabia would get pierced? Probably, he'd probably get a Prince Charles. the one that like, Or <laughs> yeah. Prince Edward, the one that goes like up through your cock. Yeah. He'd probably get a cock piercing for sure. No, he'd probably. get one of those sick ass things where it's like the nose ring and then there's a chain that connects. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ring. That's what he would do. Yeah. No, you know what he would for do is Middle get Eastern Ichi mamas. the Killer and he would like slice his oh, mouth open. Oh, that'd be sick. Ichi the, the Killer. Yeah. Close. That'd be pretty cool. Ichi yeah, I don't really. Arabia. She's just because she's like for little kids. I think there's like something inherently like unsexual about her. Yeah. Lawrence the Muslim. So I don't really want to know. If oh, you looked up Miss Rachel. Oh, are you looking up pictures of her? Yeah, I don't really want to know if she has her nipples pierced. Did you look up Miss Rachel nipple piercing? No. I oh, I want to know that though. Look that up. I yeah, want to see how many see. subs she has. I want to see. She has a lot more than us. I want to see her <laughs> nipple piercings. Miss Rachel, if you're watching this, can you DM me a picture of your nipple piercings, please? Thank you very much. I would appreciate that. And, you know, if you want, I can send you some money. I don't know if that's, oh, real yeah. or that's doctor. But. Well, Miss Rachel, if you want to send me a topless pic, please yeah, do. Sure. And if you want, I can send you Gunner, some money. Gunnar, are you official part of the channel or no? What do you mean? Like, are you an official, like, P-boy or no? I don't know. Isn't that up to you guys to decide? Well, you're Not really. You have to be Gunna. Yeah, you have to be Gunna. Right? Or can we just there. refer to you by your name? Are we going to get you fired? Should we edit this out? Because <laughs> I, uh, I now have my own channel for the Joseph Joseph. Okay. And the P-Boys is more focused on just the p-boys but i don't know who the p-boys are i'm in a weird thing of like when uh you know how there's been like twelve thousand x-men and whenever you say like you know who are the new members of the x-men i i can't keep up with who the members of the p-boys are if it's just me and riley or if you're in it or if drake is in it because he yeah we talked about it and he said that he wants to be in it but he doesn't know if he can make every episode okay um Um, what i would do is take the wu-tang clan approach to this and there's like the wu-tang clan members but people who like did a lot of stuff with them were called affiliates okay so you you should have like the affiliates the people the paradisio affiliates so are you an affiliate i would say i'm an affiliate i'm affiliated with the podcast Yeah. yeah yeah You've been on enough episodes. I mean, Papa Sean, he's been on like so many episodes over the years. Definitely an affiliate. But he's not, but I don't know if he's considered a P-boy. 
Well, I have my own channel now, too. Do you have your own channel? Yeah, uh, www.onlyfans.com backslash Riley Walgren. Okay. Find me there. Nice. <laughs> and it's the, I actually just do all of my, like, movie review content yeah. behind a paywall. Yeah. That's why it's yeah. there. I, like, actually watch the movies. Yeah. <laughs> and then I sandbag on the podcast <laughs> yeah. and I watch yeah. the <laughs> Yeah, everyone's If you want to hear while. Riley's actual thoughts, go on his OnlyFans. <laughs> yep. Or yeah. just, you know, come here. Um. Okay, T. Lawrence. He's yeah. hanging out. He's in modern. Day. Most of the movie takes place in modern day Saudi Arabia. Okay, and so the Brits They're looking for oil. <laughs> the Brits Woo! are looking Woo! for. Um, it's there will be blood, but in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> it's blood diamond, but in the Middle East. No, he's a good guy, and he cared for the Arabs. I can get into more of it if you want, but. Um, yeah, he has like his one boy who's his guide, and to, sh- to prove to Faisal. him that, th- no, not him, before him, to prove to him that they're boys, he gives him his gun so he knows he's not going to kill him. Mm-hmm. So, the, yeah, Prince oh, Faisal. Right, Aladdin. I don't forgot about that character. remember in the movie, because it was a while since I saw it, if uh, like Sheikh Hussein, who's Prince Faisal's dad, is in it, because he was the guy who the British initially were going through. Um, and so, either way, it's World War One. And the Brits are fighting with the uh, Ottoman Empire, Turkey. And at this time, Turkey controlled Arabia and Iraq and Syria and the Levant and stuff like that. Sure. So they're like, okay, well, enemy of our enemy is our friend. So they basically had Lawrence go down there, see what was up with Prince Faisal's dad, uh, Sheikh Hussein. And uh, he, from there, he's like, yeah, these guys will play ball. And so basically started getting them a bunch of British money and guns. Which kind, like basketball, football, baseball? Um. Uh, British football. Cricket. Okay. Cricket. 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 Okay, yeah, 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 these guys will play these cricket. These guys, they're like, blimey, these blokes will, will play, play cricket. cricket. That's the British equivalent of, <laughs> uh, you want to play hardball? Or you want to toss hard cricket? Yeah, they don't say ball, they just say cricket. So these guys would play cricket with you the You want to bowl hard, do ya? Mm-hmm. And so he got them a bunch of uh, money and guns from the Brits just to fuck with the Turks and fight them in a guerrilla campaign. And so they start in the movie and then they're going and they're, they're pushing. He turns them into like a, a good fighting force. And then they're on their way to Akraba, which is in, I want to say modern day Jordan, whatever. It's a bit, no, Kobe. Jordan's landlocked, but uh, it's, it's, it's like a port city North on the Red Sea. And so they, they get there. And it's a big deal. They take it over. I mean, he basically just is hanging out with uh, Sheikh Hussein and Prince Faisal's son. The and the promise... He was the original Tate. <laughs> yeah. He's a British guy hanging out with the Muzzies. <laughs> the promise... Are there Muslim you, in Romania? He's uh, Andrew Tate converted. He's submitted yeah. to Allah. Oh. Allegedly. I don't, oh, I heard about this. Yeah, I don't know how good of this. a servant of Allah you are if you're still like a pimp and a cam whore service guy, but whatever. Um, you never know. So he got kind of was one. No, or no, Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah. So Didn't he promised he multiple wives. Muhammad. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think he had like a bunch, and then before he died, he changed the rule. He's like, all right, Muslim guys. I know I had a lot. Three's the max. Yeah. So he was the only guy allowed to have more than three, and then he's like, all right, everybody else. It's like a Joseph they gotta, Smith style situation. They got to make a much. sitcom called Too Many Wives, where it's just it's like a. A fun Middle Eastern sitcom about all of uh, Muhammad's wives, but, but then he's just not in the yeah. show. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just the wives. Yeah. That's <laughs> that would definitely get the P. No, a different ex- yeah. a different executive from Charlie Hebdo plays Muhammad. In every <laughs> a different, like most racist French person alive. Yeah. yeah. Um, Wait, that's the newspaper that. Yes. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. Nailed that right. So he, the reason he kind of got uh, the Arabs on board was because he's like, listen, after the war, we'll give like all of the Middle East independence. And then he was, he did, he was on board with it. But when the Brits were like, you know, they were there with the French, like, yep, for sure. Well, you guys will get it your land. Um, but that is not what it ended up happening. So, so they got was, gypped. They did get gypped, and he was very pissed off about that. Is that word racist? Yes. Gypped? Why? Gypsy. How? Scammed. But wh- why? Well, gypsies aren't from anywhere. Why is it racist? Because you're saying, like, 
if you got scammed, that's like saying you got Jewed. It's like that same type thing. But, I, okay, I've... I've never met a gypsy before in my life. Yeah, I haven't gone to Europe. If yeah, if you go to Europe, you'll see them. And but you'll what, find like, them. what are like? Where are they? From? What are they? Where are they, where where are they from originally? <laughs> like, what is a gypsy? So they got called gypsies because no one in Europe knew where the fuck they were from. But like the, the legend was they were from Egypt, so they got oh. called gypsies. Modern like scholarly like DNA stuff. They're actually a group of people who migrated to Europe from India. And they got all the way to Europe and then just, like, kind of were an insular community. And so they're, like, they steal? No, they just kind of beg. They just kind of, like, stand on the side of the road and, like... Oh, so they're, like, crackheads like, hey. in Europe. Yeah, but they're, they're not even crackheads. They That's just the act fuck. like... they. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm making myself look bad. I'll digress. Yeah. It's so funny to see people, uh, like... I, I saw someone post online something about, like... Uh, Oh, like British, like or people from Europe saying Americans are racist, but then you ask them about gypsies, and then all the comments were just like European people being like, "No, you don't understand. <laughs> gypsies fucking suck. They're fucking gay as shit. I, I hate gypsies." <laughs> when I was in Sweden, I was probably in like high. I don't know. I was probably in like middle school or high school. But we yeah. went to the big city, and there was like gypsies begging. And my relative pointed out, she's like, "Oh yes, those are the gypsies." And I was like. Real life? I mean, I've only real. ever heard about these guys. I'm like, wait, there's real life gypsies begging here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do they have black people in Sweden? Yes. Okay. Do they have black people everywhere now? Pretty much. Okay. Maybe not They're Poland. They're 13% of Russia. the world. You don't think there's black people in Poland? I Poland Poland is very like, Antarctica. anti-immigrant. Well, yeah, no shit. Anti-immigrant, like racist. They Poland. won't blend in. What about like... I, it's a bad question. I was going to say Canada, but I meant like northern Canada. There's no black know, people. Maybe. Drizzy Drake. Well, like he's from the part of Canada where everyone's from. Yeah, I'm sure there's he's not a lot of black six. people in the prairie provinces. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You never know. Maybe there's a black farmer out there. I'm just I'm just. He thinking. got his 40 acres, but it was way up north. Because we all used to be black people. Everyone started as a black people, right? I, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, humanity, Joseph. I mean, the humans that left Africa, I'm assuming, were not quite what you would think of, like, distinguishable modern races. I think they were, like, proto-race. And then They humans looked like uh, Greedo out. from Star Wars or something. They looked like who? Greedo from Star Wars or <laughs> that something. That was the first human. We've only seen the skeletons, so we have no way of knowing if they had, like, tentacles or anything Scales like that. and yeah. shit, a fourth yeah. eyeball. But um, they were, I, yeah, and then humans hung out and bred with each other in certain places for long enough that genes became dominant. Do you spread. believe the theory that in X amount of hundred years, everyone will just be one like unanimous color kind of? I have no idea. I don't know. Probably not. It depends if there's another race war. Another one? When was the first one? <laughs> the civil one, right? Yeah. Isn't that technically? No. Oh. It's two white sides fighting against each other. But it was over something racist. Yeah, that's one not... of them just liked black people slightly more. <laughs> yeah, I would even say liked. I just say tolerate just a little more. <laughs> yeah. Um, but okay, I'm learning now that the Underground Railroad, none of it was underground. Did you? You knew that. You're fucking around. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, was it around normal, I was going to say, if we're really trying to make this history with two retarded guys. <laughs> the above ground normal. Road. Okay, if there was a race war, who do you think has the best chance? I don't want to put money down on that. No. Dude, they got it's Caltex. The Chinese. Those shits are going to jam. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like in America. Like Okay, we'll do in America, no, and then in America in the world. Well, yeah, the Han Chinese are the fucking master race. They have QBZ. Hitler bro. was way wrong, dude. Han Chinese are like the Ubermensch. They are like the ascendant race. That's why I wanted to take out China. Yeah, but none of them are taller than like 5'8". So? They're like the smartest. They can't like super soldier themselves like we could. Nah, they, give, give them another 50 years. They'll be super soldier, super soldiering all over everybody. The Chinese? You think the Han Chinese will end up like fucking Moff Gideon with his fucking... <laughs> Gideon. Psh, psh, Style stormtroopers. Oh, shit. they're like robot stormtroopers. No, yeah, they're they like half human. In China, half robot. there'd be no need for a robot. No, I'm saying like half human, oh. half robot, where it's like a, a robotic exoskeleton, and there's so many people that can produce the exoskeleton, and so many people that they can put in them that they're just basically, uh, what do you call it? 
disposable and it's just like an army you can't beat because there's just an infinite number of them is that how the chinese are going to take over i mean they're already like that there's more people there than any country on earth yeah but they get no pussy this is true that's how you that okay we talked about this no pussy will make a man go crazy yeah in the hardcore henry episode if you promise a man that isn't getting pussy pussy you can make him do anything with the promise of pussy yeah you tell a chinese guy. maybe that's what uh, fucking what's his name you tell a chinese guy if he takes over america pussy boom he's there who's the guy what's the guy's name the chinese guy g Xi Jinping. Jinping. Yeah. yeah. That's what he's telling them all. I was like, you have to go to America and you will find sweet pussy. Yeah. He's like, kill five white boys and you'll get pussy. Yeah. <laughs> they do a karate Who's kid the other Chinese? The shit Who's out the of one that they made disappear? Kids. Jack Ma. Jack Ma. Have yeah. we heard from him? I Good question. I don't know. I'm Maybe not up on my Jack Ma news. Who's Jack Ma? Chinese Jeff Bezos. Oh, really? And they made him Ali disappear. Baba. Oh shit! And they made him disappear. Yeah, which is yeah, good. Did you guys hear about that like billionaire like Sex scammer club? lady in oh. Vietnam? She was like a twelve billion dollar net worth, and she was just like embezzling and stealing a bunch of money. Death penalty. They murked her. Damn. Jeez. All right, Peter. Her. Why? Why they just for embezzlement? What financial the, what, crimes? And there's still technically are, a communist. There's still country, country. Oh, okay. and so that's still a. There's still countries that'll firing squad your ass, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Is Vietnam one of them? I don't know. I don't know how they did oh, I wanted to ask you, did you watch this new uh, HBO show, um, uh, this Park Chan-wook show on HBO? I haven't even heard of that. What? Uh, with Robert Downey Jr. What is it called? It's called like the Vietnamese or something. Like, it's oh, called The Informant. I, I think. saw the trailer for that, and yeah. I thought it looked good. I'll, I'll watch it now that I know okay. he's doing it. Yeah. I'll, I'm a little worried he doesn't have a Korean cast to work with. I feel like maybe he won't be able to cook as well, but I think he's... Yeah, I, believe I think everyone is... I well, he's got a walk for so really I think he'll be good. fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Gunner said he doesn't have a Korean cast to work with, so I don't know if he'll be able to cook. And I said, well, he's got a wok bowl, so he'll <laughs> be fine. Uh, I hope he filmed it in America, and I hope he, like, challenged Spike Lee to a fucking pistol duel or something. Because yeah. didn't Spike Lee make the American... The yeah, yeah, yeah. Chanwalk Park needs to fucking throw hands with that geezer over that piece of work. Yeah. Sorry. He'd probably miss. <laughs> the only good movie uh, Spike Lee Spike ever so made short. was Do the Right Thing, and it was painfully mid. What? Yeah, I don't know. I, Y'all I, ever seen a Spike Lee joint? The Black Klansman? You did do that. I the Five that. Bloods. I didn't see that. Was I'm it good? Mid. No, I didn't see it. Oh. Uh, do the Right Thing and then... Um, what else? Jungle, Jungle Fever. Fever. Yeah. yeah. Is that Lawrence Fishburne in that? No, that's Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson. And T.E. Lawrence. <laughs> T.E. Lawrence? <laughs> it's about an interracial couple, but they're gay. It's Jungle yeah. Fever. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. I was always confused about why Spike Lee would do Old Boy. No, yeah, that's it's so not a Spike Lee movie. Him, like, yeah. yeah, he probably just it's saw an all it white and liked cast. It and just asked a studio to do it, and they're like, "Sure, we'll give you money for it." Yeah, but it's an all white cast. I know, except Spike for Samuel Lee Jackson. Hates white people, you know who actually hates white people? Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> he's racist, way. bro. I'll tell you what, <laughs> Doctor Umar. Um, yeah, he's yeah. You get him on the pod, bro. You guys want to have real hotep discussions? Doctor Umar buck would breaking? never come on this podcast. Who's Doctor Umar? <laughs> Doctor Umar Johnson. Who's that? He's, He's the like, blackest man in the universe. Wanna be Farrakhan. He's like a black nationalist. Does he live in Detroit? No, he's oh. like he's kind of like a na- you. You've probably seen clips of him like saying some wildly sexist stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't really browse sexist social media. I, he just so. gets memed on sometimes, but he's like, yeah, real hotep like shit. But yeah, he's the T.E. Lawrence of black people. <laughs> But he's black. Yeah, you can't. You have to be the opposite. Oh, yeah, would be, is there a white boy that was all about Abraham black? Lincoln? White boy Adam Rick. Twenty two. <laughs> white boy white Rick. Rick is the T. E. Lawrence for black people. Adam twenty two. Yeah, Adam, Adam twenty two <laughs> might maybe. He just like lets black dudes fuck. No, his you wife know who all was. The time. He's Lawrence of Armenia because his wife is Armenian. <laughs> she is. Yeah. The, she's the porn the porn star lady. Yeah, yeah Lena the plug. Or she's whatever. fully Armenian. I guess she could. I think be. she's Armenian. All those LA fucking Armenians, like the Kardashians, they just get so much plastic surgery they no longer look ethnically yeah. Armenian. Like the Kardashians all used to look ethnically Armenian. They just yeah. look like a fake race now. Yeah. But they're from Star Wars for sure. 
Some Armenia. Slope flip flop ass people. <laughs> Why? The, the, how they look now? They look like aliens. Oh, the Kardashians. I thought you were saying all Armenians. I'm like, no, they're chilling. No, Armenians are fine. The There's Kardashians look like aliens. I A N ass people. Lawrence of Armenia. Last name's <laughs> Lawrence of Armenia. <laughs> Lawrence of Armenia. <laughs> and it's O J Simpson going over there to get pussy <laughs> from their mom. <laughs> Even though she wasn't the Armenian one, it was their dad. Was she not Armenian too? No, it's Rob Kardashian. Senior Wait, so they're dad. half? Chris Jenner. No, Jenner was her married she last re- Yeah, I, I think she know. was. What was her original last name? I don't fucking know. She definitely was Armenian. She a looks Gopian. like it. A <laughs> Isn't that the rug company? Yeah, I was about here? to say that'll land for the local crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that probably is I A N is like the most common suffix for an Armenian last yeah. name. There's Anna Kasparian. Prince Caspian. Prince Caspian. Caspian C. Lawrence of Armenian. But yeah. So the British promised them a state, and he told uh, the Hashemids. Yeah, the Hashemids. The Hezbollahs. No, no, There's no. A bunch no. of short guys. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> one of those. How guys. many Hezbollahs do you think you could take? Me? Yeah. Three. Three, Three? four. Really? Do I have some sort of blunt weapon? No. Then three. Three. If I had a cricket bat or if a you baseball can just bat, five. Spartan kick one out the door that knocks him out, incapacitates him, breaks some ribs, he's done. If you get a good kickoff on one of them, yeah. you're good. You're good. Mm-hmm. Would you rather you could just fight... do the cartoon thing? You could just palm their forehead <laughs> and they would just they can't yeah. reach you. Would you rather fight Jeff Goldblum? Or Jeff Bezos. Or Je- I was literally just about to say Jeff Bezos. Is like cur- current Jeff Goldblum? Current Jeff Goldblum. Not, not like, like Jack. Yeah, there. not like Jack's. Probably 80s current. Goldblum. He's a geezer. Yeah. He's taller he than He just me, like for does sure. weird like dance tai chi. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's he's in good shape. I don't know how apartments. good of shape Bezos uh, uh-huh. is in. I don't know. He's out there getting Latina poussoir. Yeah, he's getting jacked. He's hanging out with the Dude, rock. He's Jeff bitches, bro. He gets Jeff it. Bitches. He wheels. And his wife's a Jeff bajillionaire Stamos. just by divorcing him. That's she's the cool it. one. I would love. I no, you know who's the cool the one? Is, who yes, her husband. Steal, yeah, that's the coolest. The guy The coolest ever. guy in that whole situation is his children's seventh grade science teacher that cucked him, stole his wife, and is now a bajillionaire because of it. That's the that guy. Won. That guy won. He, won. Yeah. he can pack it up. I hope he has some good hobbies now that he's idle rich. He's going to watch Lawrence of Arabia once yeah, again. He's, he's going to watch this podcast. Nine years long. He's going to pay $5 for the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, he should. So should everyone. Everyone should check yeah. out the Paradiso Films Patreon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he pro- the British said that if you guys revolt against the Ottomans, we'll give you guys your own countries. And yeah. Like, Psych! Yeah. Uh, and so literally, yeah. They pulled the rug out from under them. Even after the war was over, over there. Yeah. <laughs> They pulled the carpet. They pulled, they pulled the magic Which carpet. started they flying the away. They pulled the floor couch from the, under the, the floor couch. <laughs> they pulled the carpet and then it started flying away. That's what you guys need to film with is a floor couch. We should get a hookah and a floor couch. A hookah yeah. and a floor couch. There you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Wait so they, the British and the it French. an opium done. What they did was they created the Sykes-Picot agreement behind everyone's back, which was basically they sat down and were like, here we're gonna divide up the ottoman middle east like this and that and that's literally where the modern middle east gets its borders from is that sykes picot agreement after world war one and that's why there's still beef over a lot of territories that's why there's no kurdistan that's why a lot of different ethnicities live in different countries is because two white boys that's why sykes and picot just drew it up that's why israel palestine yeah, and T. E. Lawrence during the you said yeah no wait, Israel Palestine's because World War kinda, II bro nah Israel Palestine go, does go back to this point but if they just gave them Alaska <laughs> you know if they gave them Alaska yeah Ooh, you know they're Israel. gonna give the Jews Alaska instead of mm-hmm. the Kingdom of Jerusalem or um I think like part of Kenya too. They were proposing that they go there instead. They would have been pissed at either one of those. It's too <laughs> cold, or it's too hot, and there's too many of the. You know who I'm talking about. No, they would have. There's just, a teenager over there. I'm no, scared. they. They would have just repped them all. He they would have turned them all into superstars. The, and by the way, Potty we're, City. <laughs> we're talking about Native Alaskans. <laughs> you know who we're talking about is Native. Yeah, Alaskans. Native Alaskans. 
Um, but yeah, so they, the British and French just totally fucked over all of them, kinda. So some they did kind of get their own countries, but they were protectorates. So they were under like you could govern and have your own army, but they were just British MFs basically running the government for you. Um, and so uh, Sheikh Hussein, who was uh, Prince Faisal's dad, his three sons got um, the monarchy in Jordan, Iraq, and I think Syria. Um, so the current monarchy of Jordan, <laughs> the current monarchy of Jordan, is a descendant of uh, Hussein and Faisal. That's no he's shit. still in charge. The one brother was in charge of Iraq until Saddam and his band of merry men yeah, did a coup in like the late sixties. Shout out! Did a coup in the late sixties. <laughs> Rest in power. Happy birthday in heaven, Saddam. Yeah. Yeah. They did a coup in the late 60s and kicked his brother out. And then I'm assuming the Assad family did the same in Syria and kicked the one out. But one of them still holds on. And it's the one of Faisal, right? Yeah, one of his sons. But it's Faisal. I don't know if it was Faisal's son. I think it was one of the brother's sons. Do you think he's seen this movie? The guy, the king of Jordan? Yeah. I mean, you can't be the monarch of Jordan without watching Wait, Michael Jordan hasn't seen this movie? I what if Michael Jordan was the king of Jordan? That'd be sick. That's can we talk about liked. that for a minute? That LeBron and Lebanon, and then Jordan and Jordan. I mean, come on. Yeah. Is there a country that sounds like Kobe over there? Kuwait. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. love hoops Kuwait. in the Middle East, man. Kobe yeah. Wait. Kobe Wait. He couldn't yeah. wait that one night. Oh, that one morning. <laughs> he just had to be at the game early. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you who couldn't wait was the cop who found his Shaq body. Shaq Iraq. Bastard. Yeah, Shaq gets a rack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. Dude, that's crazy. We're, we're going to create peace in the Middle East by just, just putting giving basketball that, Let's give players. them hoops. Are people in Iraq racist? Do you think they probably, right? They're probably racist. Towards there. who, though? Like black people. They would not fuck with black people, I don't think. Oh, they're like halfway there. What, what did you just say? Easy, bud. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Whoa. Wait, you just said that people from Iraq are halfway to black people, and you've you've known me for this long. Yeah, you're you know you, I've I'm seen, halfway to black. I've seen you steal a few TVs. I know <laughs> you drive a Dodge SRT. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know. It's like over there. You guys have fairer there. skin than there we do. Are, do there I? were <laughs> yeah, small. You're way tanner than I am, doggy. I guess. There were small. Naturally, you are, uh, at least. I'm like more yellow. Of black people living in I Iraq. I can get like an Adonis in the summer, you know. Yeah. Adonis? Like Drake's son? Yeah. yeah I can yeah. have like blonde, curly hair yeah. and be a baby. <laughs> be a baby. <laughs> <laughs> there were small groups of black people in the Middle East for a long time because... They you know, came up through North Africa. <laughs> Arab slave trade. No one likes to talk about that. That went on a lot longer oh, over there than it quite did. Quite a while longer. Yeah. Do you know when slavery was outlawed in Saudi Arabia? Like Last 1980? Year. <laughs> 1955. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, you know, they were only like 90 years Guys, behind it's us. it's part of their culture, okay? Yeah. Well, they still do it They're in fucking Qatar. They had oh, slaves still, for the yeah, World basically, Cup, bro. Yeah. There was some like... It's called stealing someone's passport. Rich Gulf state woman um on twitter bitching about like how the filipino maids aren't good enough in like bahrain or wherever she lived (laughs) yeah that's what they do is they take guest workers over and then the family takes their passport so they can't leave even if t.e lawrence would have been pissed t.e lawrence would would not have done that yeah Yeah. no he would have been like y'all need to chill you're making us look bad all these kids who are out there protesting every day or like tearing up their graduation certificates I'm just like, guys, what are you fighting for? Like, yeah. Who gives a fuck? None of them are T.E. Lawrence. None of and, them are over there, yeah. boots on the ground. And none of them are riding camels. Yeah, to die, the country. Dying in motorcycle accidents in their 50s. And I'm sure half of those kids, if they were to show up in Gaza, the, Hamas would just be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, they would yeah. want nothing to do with them. Yeah. They'd just be like, get a slingshot, I guess. They'd be like, yo, you know what we do to gay people here, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who makes them go trans? Iran. I don't know if that's true. I I need to look into that claim. We need a Jamie. 
<laughs> Jamie, if you're gay in Iran, do they either put you in jail or let you transition? Who's Jamie? <laughs> From Joe Rogan, the guy who he tells to look up. He's the keyboard. Jamie, pull guy. that up. I don't even listen to Joe Rogan. I don't, know, I don't know Joe Rogan. You don't know Joe Rogan lore? No, I don't know Joe Rogan. I don't know about Jamie. Esoteric. That's like tier one of the iceberg is Jamie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, who's the... Who's the Theo Vaughn guy? Isn't his name Riley? Isn't that who they have? Look shit, I don't know. shit up. I don't want Theo Vaughn. I don't know. Yeah. I'm a hardcore Rogan stan. I don't. I only know about man. Jamie. I know about the Philly guy's producer, Danny Dubs. I know that guy. That's my guy. But yeah, and the Middle East got made because a bunch of dickheads wouldn't yeah. listen to the Arabs or Lawrence of Arabia, and he We're was kind of resentful about that. Tight end life. Um. But yeah, it's doubtful if he like if he drew up the borders. It's doubtful it would have been peaceful any better. But they definitely shit the bed. He would have helped. That. Yeah. Well, it's good to know that he was such a cool, quirky white boy. He got some stuff done over there in his lifetime. Yeah, yeah. that's why they needed one of them over there because they're like, these fucking sand people aren't going to figure it out. They're gonna. They're too busy throwing rocks at each other. Buddy, so. you better clarify that you're a sand person. So you're allowed <laughs> to say that. Otherwise, people are going to think you're really racist. <laughs> No, he's halfway to black. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. We wanted to say who, like, t- Lords of Arabia was for African Americans. Fucking Bill Clinton. They uh, love yeah. him. <laughs> they love Bill Clinton. Uh, fair. I thought they loved Ronald he's Reagan. Lord, Lawrence of Arkansas. The Lawrence Bill of Arkansas. Bill of Arkansas. <laughs> Bill of D.C. Bill, Bill of uh, Little St. James Island. More Bill like. of, yeah. Bill of East 8 Mile. <laughs> Bill of Rights. True. Yeah, that's a thing. Look at me. We the people, for the people. Well, uh, isn't that a Nicolas Cage movie where they have to steal the Bill of Rights? They or steal something? the Declaration of Independence. Oh, okay. From yeah, National Treasure. It's pretty wild, actually. I rewatched that recently. Really? Yeah, it's like pretty deep. It's a Disney movie too, I yeah. think. And it has uh, T. There's e. like Lawrence three sequels in it, right? to it. Yeah, Peter and I think there's a Disney. No, and like T. E. Lawrence is actually in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. It's, they hologrammed him in. Yeah. It's crazy. Is Peter O'Toole in it? No. Oh, yeah, okay. he was, <laughs> Peter O'Toole. Was, I'm not. He either died a long time no, ago. No, he died or in he 2013. Died, okay, he died pretty recently. Okay, yeah. with no Oscars. What? Yeah. He didn't win one for this. He won an <gasps> honor. Oh. That pisses me off. He won like an honorary. You know when they give like yeah, you but, an Oscar just for like being in movies? Yeah. That would piss me off. That yeah. does piss me off. It's like how they made. Awesome. They gave Kanye a doctorate from the University of Chicago and then took it back. They did, they was, they did this thing. All this Nazi shit. Yeah. I wonder what Donda would have thought about all this. I don't know. She seemed a bit off whack. Yeah, I mean, really, she, she was she, a professor, wasn't she? Or no, Lil Wayne's mom was a professor. She died like getting professor. liposuction or something. <laughs> no, she died <laughs> getting the plastic surgery that Kanye was paying for, and that's why he feels like he killed his mom. No, so yeah, it, I don't know. It may have been like it was some kind was of lipo, cosmetic but surgery. It was cosmetic surgery. And okay. she got out and was in like the outpatient like care thing, and you're supposed to stay in case like you have a negative reaction to something or something goes wrong. But she was like, "No, I'm fine. I'm gonna go home." And sure on. enough, something went wrong. Yeah. But she was supposed to stay there under like medical supervision. But she was like, "Fuck it, I want to go home." That's what happened. That sucks. Rest Damn. in peace, Donda. That's why you He's listen to the doctor. Busy, bo- busy body, busy Gave us a hell of an album, though. Yeah, that's kind of low key. So fucking embarrassing. That is dying embarrassing. from a cosmetic surgery yeah, because really you just wanted to go home. Yeah. Like, not even a botched surgery. She just fucked up the recovery process. Yes. What an idiot. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel bad saying that because Kanye is yeah. a real scheissmeister. A scheissmeister. Hey, don't tell him that. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Don't call Kanye a meister of any sort. <laughs> don't He'll call take him a scheist. <laughs> he doesn't want to be affiliated with them. I need to, I like think about rewatching the Kanye West Lex Friedman interview all the time because it's yeah. so fucking funny. Is yeah. that the one where he brings up Rock at Ralph? No, no, that is really that was that that bit. That was like he was on the side question. of the video game the whole time. <laughs> that yeah, <laughs> the glitch. And you gotta look at me and say I'm not, not the, the motherfucking, motherfucking glitch. glitch. <laughs> he was the glitch, like that guy. 
<laughs> he was on the side of the video game the whole time. I watched that movie recently when I was subbing. I like let the kids vote what they wanted to watch. I was like, Sub. okay. <laughs> well, that was the thing. The, 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 the teacher, she gave me like, she's like, here's where all the DVDs are. And I'm like, I'm going to beat the fucking system. I'm going to choose only ones that I have an interest in watching and then let there them vote for it. But they voted for Wreck-It Ralph. And I was, it was pretty good. Okay. And what then, were the other options? Uh, Rio, Wreck It Ralph, Mythbusters, Lawrence of Arabia, <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence yeah. of Arabia. Um, it was yeah, Wreck It Ralph, Mythbusters, and it was a part of Wreck It Ralph where the Sarah Silverman character came on screen. I'm like, okay, I gotta lock it. Yeah. <laughs> She's hot. She is very hot. She was Her like, Ralph, we need to save the video games and also <laughs> need to stop the Palestinians from uh, taking over Israel and do blackface. <laughs> her, her, or Nikki Glaser, Sarah Silverman, Nikki Glaser. Okay, I'm going Sarah Silverman. Yeah, that's no. In she, terms of I, who I think is funnier, I think Nikki Glaser is funnier. But in terms of who I would want to smash, it's definitely Sarah Silverman. Really? I always yeah. liked Sarah Silverman when I was a kid. I thought she was like really, really hot. Like, really? I was like a like a little eight year old guy. I was like, dude, she's a babe. Her and Maya Rudolph were like the two hottest people to that's me as a crazy. kid. I, really? <laughs> I always that's thought a wild taste. I always thought Aubrey Plaza was hot, and then as soon as I saw Edward Scissorhands, I was like, who the fuck is that and right. then i figured out she was an old lady by the time i like figured out who she was how about sarah silverman or um what's her name the chick who was holding up donald trump's head uh kathy, <laughs> kathy oh kathy, Griffin. kathy Griffin. <laughs> dude i saw a video of her oh man the other day she's looking wild yeah. I, I i'll show it to you she looks rough all right sarah silverman or sarah jessica parker silverman i guess silverman yeah I might go ask JP. I know you just because yeah. she's Carrie. <laughs> it's Carrie Bradshaw, bro. You can't. But everybody smashed Carrie, bro. I don't want that. That bitch ran through. No, nah, now she's got. <laughs> she's getting Matthew Broad. Broad. Matthew dick. Broad. Dick, yeah. She's getting Matthew Broad's dick. <laughs> I always, I just like in the past two years realized that Matthew Broderick and Michael J. Fox are two different guys. <laughs> they look pretty similar, and they're both yeah. like '80s guys. I, yeah. I thought that like yeah. What Matthew was Broderick Matthew Broderick was, in that was Ferris Bueller? Ferris Bueller, and then uh, Michael J. Fox was Back to the Future. Yeah, and I thought like I could have I could have thought one of them the is fully guy. functional though. Yeah, that's true. One of them's really good at fingering too. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Michael J. Fox has a wife. Probably. He does, Hollywood yeah. Guy. She's also... She was the... She also has Parkinson's. <laughs> no. She, Crazy in the bedroom. What, he was on a TV show. Not like Family Man, but like one of those like family TV shows. Yeah. His sister on that show, he's married to her. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to look that up. All right. Did you just wonder if Michael J. Fox has a wife? I <laughs> meant like a famous wife like oh, Matthew yeah. Broderick is married okay. to. Okay. SJP. Yeah. Their kids are adorable. <laughs> SJP and Matthew Broderick's kids. What are their names? Um, are they like little sex and the city they have four uh okay i don't know who this lady is tracy pollen it's matthew Broderick or michael Vince matthew Fox j Broderick. it's matthew, matthew j, j. Broderick's <laughs> wife <laughs> oh yeah so this was lawrence of a gay bria yeah this was lawrence of a place joseph doesn't know where it is yeah <laughs> i've never been to the middle east i have been to the middle east, but i've never you been have? to yeah when where'd you go to Israel for Thank birthright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, shout out. He's got a tree planted there, too. Yeah. Yep. I went to the wall and I kissed it and I wore a young. You and Brittany should go to Iraq for your honeymoon. <laughs> I'm hungry for camel meat now. Do they eat that over there? Probably camel not. Meat? No. They're, Probably. They're, that's their homies. Well, then I'm hungry for pork. <laughs> What? What is that? That's him on a camel, bro. Wait, for, in, in Israel? <laughs> yeah. When did you go to Israel? Uh, like six years ago. That's you went cool. to the kingdom I of Jerusalem. Go. Was it okay. nice? Yeah, I went for birthright. You didn't go for birthright. <laughs> he went to the kingdom of Jerusalem. I pretended. Did you, Israel. Did you I, go I to like the like holy sepulcher and stuff? Yeah. Like Okay, so like pilgrimage. That's why I got the tattoo. I thought it was for Kairos. Well, I went to Kairos right after I got back from Israel. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I want to go really bad. So yeah, let's Caitlin. go. She said she'd go with me. I want to get like a full detail, like like NBA player crucifix on my back, like yeah. top to bottom, like $2,000 tattoo. Yeah. Full we got to do a like podcast straight running. from Israel. I would love to. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I do really. I'm jealous. I want to go to Israel. And then what I want them to do I don't do think is, now is the time to go. Now is probably but, not the yeah. time. Where like the stigmata are. When the tattoo is done, they just cut me open and let the blood run down my back. <laughs> nice. 
That's sweet. Yeah. Getting it. I think full Iraq honeymoon cruise. is a good call though. Yeah, I don't know. Where do you that. want to go on your honeymoon? Probably somewhere insane like Siberia. No, probably like Japan or some stupid bullshit. Nice. I what are, what are you planning on, or are you not planning on it? What? Like oh, marriage? That's way that's once I, I another two years at least until okay. I get my teaching certificate. You okay. want you want a house and a home and a crib and a and a job. No, I do want yeah. Once I get my teaching certificate, okay. things are still going good. Then that okay. would be the time. So like two years. Okay. Year half, two years. Nice. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go to Iraq for our honeymoon. Yeah, I hear, uh, pretty Baghdad safe. is beautiful this time of year. I don't know, like Australia say. or New Zealand or something. Well, that's a good call. Yeah. Not... Would you go? Would you rather go to if you had to live in one, India or China? China. Would you go to Macau. Yeah, China's cleaner too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like they don't poop on the street in China yeah. for sure. <laughs> and yeah, I wonder if there's like a China's Macau of India. China's just fucking tight, bro. I want to go to China. Fuck it, my honeymoon's in China. Hong Kong honeymoon. I don't know. You'll never catch me in the Orient. <laughs> the Middle East. I'm out is here being celestial and shit. <laughs> what did you say? The Middle East is technically the yeah. Orient. No, that's not the Orient. Mm, it's the East Orient. of Europe, buddy. Yeah, but the Orient is like. I'm gonna get the plastic surgery. <laughs> that was in. A, that was in a. You only live twice. Bond goes undercover by like getting. No, he just tapes his eyes. Like no. eyes. Does he really? Yeah, look up Sean Connery oh. Japanese face. Kornishiwa. Look up, yeah. <laughs> look up places to eat on the way home. No, I'm just kidding. I know what there is. We're going to stop. That's a, it's actually one of my favorite Bond movies. Uh, you only live twice. The guy who plays Faisal in this movie is brown facing it up. I can't believe we have never talked about that. Was it, wasn't it Omar Sharif? Oh yeah, Omar Sharif. Yeah, one of them is brown facing it up though, okay. which is wild. Joe, we're gonna get Flemings on the way home. Flemings, if you stop. yeah, we're gonna get carry Flemings. Out you're gonna from... stop off in Birmingham yeah, to get Flemings. We're gonna get carry out from Flemings. or Chris Morton's. We're not yeah. sure yet. Okay, either Chris Morton's or Flemings. We're gonna get carry. They out. just like gave him weird eyebrows. Yeah, that's still definitely not. We're okay. gonna drive to Chicago and go to the Twenty Three Steakhouse and get carry out. Nice. I'm doing a clean open mic after this, so where? I, it's in Ferndale. Oh, okay. Yeah. New way? No. No, not new way. Yeah, I'm about to go bomb at a clean open <laughs> mic. I'm so excited. Got to get your name out there. I did it once and it went horribly, and I also I kept accidentally swearing. <laughs> it was and then it, and then swearing over the fact that I swore. You yeah. must learn the art of the teacher, Joseph. Yeah. I also said dumb cunt, so I don't think that. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't. No, I help. didn't say that. That was on. Oh my god, it was Alec Guinness doing who did Faisal. Oh yeah, I forgot he was yeah. in this one. Obi Wan Kenobi is basically, you know, that's insane. Obi Wan of Ben Kingsley esque. Uh, ben Kingsley is like part though, which is weird that yeah, he would then. Yeah, do that. he is. Yeah, he didn't need to spice it up. <laughs> Ben Kingsley in Gandhi. Oh yeah, which in have the you movie seen? That's also no. about the Dalai Lama seen? and also about Lawrence. Of Gandhi Arabia. is another movie like this. It's long as fuck, but it yeah. bangs. It's really good. I was thinking about that yesterday when I was watching the first hour of Lawrence of Arabia. Is that nobody makes movies like this? Like only like Ridley Scott is making movies that look like this. Yeah, you know, Dune, like Fen Dennis. Uh, yeah, I guess, but that's like still CGI heavy. Like, yeah. you can tell it's, like, not... Like, this... They did film some of it in um, oh. Tunisia, I think. Christopher Nolan, is that? Yeah, I'm doing a Bane voice. I don't oh, okay. know. Yeah, you're right. People don't shoot a lot of shit on location, though. Which yeah. Which is unfortunate. And, like, you think about Lawrence of Arabia, too. Like, there's scenes where, like, a hundred dudes were all on a horse yeah. to be in a movie. That's sick. You'll never see that in your What's life. What's that, yeah. that movie? That Have you seen the, Babylon? That is the most people... The uh, D.W. Griffith one? No, the... um. The Damien Chazelle one that the came out one. last year. Yeah. Uh, no. Is that good? I wanted to see it. I like it's old okay, time in Hollywood. But it's like there's a number of scenes where they're like shooting big, epic, like fight scenes. Mm -hmm. And so it's like just a guy running around with a camera and then 10,000 guys like running and getting hit by arrows and shit. <laughs> yeah. And they really don't make them like they used yeah. to, which is a fucking shame. What's the movie yeah. that has the most people on screen at one time? You've told me it's like there's this big battle scene and there's a bunch of people on it. The Bridge Over the River Kwai. Which War is another and, da David Lane movie. War and Peace, da uh, David Lean. David Lean. Yeah. He's sipping on all. Sipping Lean. Lean. <laughs> yeah. Walk I said, Hart. <laughs> I said, 
Dr. Zhivago, a brief encounter in the bridge on the river Kwai. A lean night. Do you know that video? It's like a black, it's a black and white video of this black guy talking about David Lean movies. And it's very random and funny. Um, Sounds like a lean night. War and Peace, though, has a scene where there's at least like several thousand uh, guys all in like square formation shooting muskets at a cavalry charge shot from a helicopter. That might be, but I do want to nice. look that up. It's a pretty sick scene. Yeah. Well, shout out to T. E. Lawrence, who's a really cool guy. Yeah, shout out to David. He Lee. was a quirked up white boy who Made was a not movie. a cultural appropriator. He got permission. Yeah, he was encouraged. Uh huh. Um. What else? I think this movie won Best Picture. I'm sure it, it won seven Oscars. Okay. Okay. Wow, we got it. So the movie to have the most extras was Metropolis. With thirty seven thousand, yeah, not all true. on screen at once, probably, but they did have a lot. Metropolis yeah. was that from the twenties? Gandhi had uh, three hundred thousand extras because it was filmed in India. Yeah, they were just in the, the background. Yeah, they were just. They were just like, what the fuck is going on over there? <laughs> all right. Are you excited for this Megalopolis movie? What? It, who's doing that? Francis Ford Coppola. Oh, yeah. I should look. Yeah. Okay. He hasn't done anything in a minute, has yeah. he? Yeah. He's, yeah. He sold his wine company just so he can finance this no. movie. Oh, He's really? a Detroit guy, and no one claims yeah, that. Yeah. No is. one talks about that. Yeah, yeah, because Kid Rock is just cooler. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it Kid is. Kid Coppola. They had Kid to Clarkston. choose between... Kid uh, Clarkston. <laughs> they had to choose between Kid Rock and... Kid Kigo Francis Hart. Coppola. Kid Kigo. That's what, that should be my rap name. All right. All right, well... Shouts out to you, Lawrence. This was Lawrence of Gabria. Sorry, Shouts out to the, Arabia. the British and the French... Fucked you guys over. Very not cool. We're sorry that the college students haven't solved your problems yet. I'm sure they you will. Know, Someone, days away. Yeah. Someone's going to self-emulate, and then you guys will have it all figured out. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. Just need Someone, one more guy to light themselves on fire. One more guy, fire. and maybe they're like one or two more chants away yep. from right. creating yep. a peace deal. Check yeah. out the Paradiso Patreon. So yeah, sub to our Patreon, and we'll, we'll, fund, we'll fund Ukraine to stop israel or whatever the yeah fuck. whatever it is 100 percent of patreon proceeds go to hamas <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, all nope. right well big piece <laughs> all right <laughs> good at boys a hundred percent of patreon proceeds fund hamas <laughs>